Okay, hi guys and once again welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a long time ever since we've updated a new video but here is a new one. Now I've encountered a problem recently on how to transfer files from my Nox emulator to my computer. Now I did find a solution and I would like to share that solution to you right now as some of the videos I've searched for were either incomplete or were a bit confusing because there weren't any voice over. I'm not saying that this would be a better guide, but if you wanted to see and at the same time hear out what is happening while the transfer is being made, then this is one of the best option. So that, um, once you're inside the Nox emulator, you have to check for two things. The first thing is to download ES File Explorer. You can download that file through your Google App Player or Google Google Play Store. You can search for that on Google Play Store or you can use APK Pure to download and install that file directly. Now the second option would be located on the upper right side corner of your emulator. Click on System Settings then click on General Settings. Make sure to click or activate Root afterwards save settings and then restart your emulator so after restarting your emulator click on es files explorer once you're once you click on explorer or es file explorer this would be the main interface so once you're on the main interface just click on internal storage now the in the internal store ah, fuck <laughs> Now, the internal storage will contain all the files within your Nox emulator. So, if you're looking for a video type file that you saved using your emulator, you can check the CIM, check movies. If you can't find it on this specific folder, just open all the folders or game folders until you find that specific video and you can do the transfer. But for now, to be more specific, I'm going to download images that I have downloaded from the game Extraordinary Ones. So I just need to click on pictures. So once I'm on pictures, these are all the screensavers I've downloaded from the game, which is now saved on the Nox emulator. So if you want to copy the files, just click and hold on one specific image and all the options will show up. So you can either copy one or you can click on the upper portion, select all to copy all the files that you need. Or you can select the files that you haven't downloaded yet if that would be a different case for you. As for me, I have already downloaded all the game. So the next option for me would be to actually just show you what will happen once you proceed with the download. So once you've selected all the images that you want, or if you did select all the images, just click on copy. Then on the upper left corner, click on this option. Then click on the MNT folder. After clicking on the MNT folder, click, <laughs> fuck, click, no, click on the shared folder. Afterwards, click on the other folder. Then click on paste located here on the lower portion of your emulator. Then click copy. But since I've already copied all that all the images, it'll just click apply to all and overwrite. So I won't have duplicate copies of the images. So now how do you look for the images on the computer? Well that's uh, an easy option as well. On the right side corner of your Nox emulator, just click on this computer icon. Then afterwards, click on other file, open PC folder. Once you click the open PC folder, a pop-up folder will show up. And it will show you all the files that you have downloaded within the game. Okay, so it's as easy as that to transfer files from Nox emulator to your computer or laptop. So that's it. So if this video helped you out, please make sure to click on the subscribe button, the like, leave a comment if you have issues so we can try to solve it further. 
and make sure to click on the bell notification button as well so you will be notified every time we upload a new video and once again thanks for watching